the graphic 4400 from Intel uh, for Yosemite from 10.10.3 all the way to 10.10.5 to work. Now the device ID you have to have a fake one at 0412 instead of the original one that we have. 0A16. Uh, the latest, the 1.2 version that I use. Seven, this one right here. Release. So if you open any of them, so the version 1.2. The important thing is this: if you use this fake PCIe.kex, it's a version 1.2. You have to load all the same version of 1.2 because the older one, you can't mix and match them. So yeah. On the config file, now the important thing is that on the one point, uh, Yosemite 10.10.1 and 10.10.2, we patch the Azure but from 10.10.3 we're using this way uh, the PCI ID CAX we have to use everything original so I just updated the 10.10.5 uh, so it's okay if it breaks we can fix it from there but leave everything original at the uh, the extension, okay. So don't touch anything. Keep everything original. The only thing you're gonna add. This is a 4400, okay. So remember. So everything we're gonna add. Let's go to fake. F. Okay. So we're going to add the fake HD 4600 and 4400 CACs and the fake PCI, these two. And look at this, make sure it's a version 1.2 and this one also a version 1.2. Okay? So actually I have a config file right here. Now in the config file, under device, this is device, you have to add a fake ID, this one, and it has to be 0412-8086. And then at the graphics, you already have to use the this is a graphic key. You have to use platform ID 0826 0006. Okay, and set Intel key to true. Everything else is false, ATI or NVIDIA, maybe we're going to just take it out also. Mine is uh, 1920, uh, 1980, a screen resolution, I use dual link one. Okay, so that's it. So, config file, you have to have that. 